Uzbekistan was one of the great hubs of the ancient Silk Road, and you can see the effects of that heritage today. They have a distinctive blend of cultures, and in particular are known for their textiles. They raise their own silk and weave it in bold, bright colors, and there are a multitude of embroidery styles that are handed down from parent to child, making it a living tradition. This is not something that's taken out and shown every now and then. These beautiful embroideries are used to decorate their homes, and the garments are worn for all celebrations and rites of passage. I was fortunate enough to be invited into several homes to observe the process close up. This is the kind of thick gold embroidery that you see people wearing at weddings. It's made from an inner thread of silk with metallic thread wrapped around it, kind of like a guitar string. You have to do it row by row and then fasten it down. I'll show you what she's doing on the other side because it's not the only regional embroidery style that uses a two-handed technique. There she is. She's tacking down from the other side as you can see, and it's an interesting kind of a thimble that she's got there. This lovely piece is by Mahira Sultanova, a woman who's applying the old techniques to modern shapes and more muted color sensibilities. And here's exactly how her stitching technique works. She goes pretty quickly, but once again, this is a two-handed technique. That needle has a hook on it, and she pushes the thread down through the fabric. Mahira went to the north of Uzbekistan to learn this technique from some of the older women who were willing to teach it to her. Here it is from the other side. You can barely see that needle flash through and she quickly hooks that piece of thread back onto it and pulls it up. Now that she's mastered the technique, she's teaching it to the people that work for her. And here are some boots that she decorated and another piece with a very delicate color. Here we're looking at a Bukharan embroidery. This young lady was taught by her great-grandmother, who continues to sew at the age of 109. And this is Karakalpak embroidery. And this lady was very happy to show how she did it, and also to talk about how she was getting more and more Karakalpak girls involved in the stitching and the community created by doing it together. And in the evening, the fashion show at the Asalar Sadasa festival highlighted modern applications of these techniques, showing off the high quality silks and embroideries demanded by today's market, while still recalling the dazzling heritage of Central Asian textiles.